Hello, thanks so much for joining this Rhythm and Movement Workshop with the Artists of Speak. My name is Teresa Remick and I'm the Managing Director of the Page Theater at St. Mary's University of Minnesota. We're so happy that we're able to share this workshop with you thanks to the wonderful creativity of the Leela Dance Collective. This activity is made possible by the voters of Minnesota through a grant from the Minnesota State Arts Board thanks to a legislative appropriation from the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Additional support is also provided by the Excel Energy Foundation. At the end of the workshop, you'll see a link on your screen to a brief survey. We'd really appreciate your feedback as we look for ways to produce events in the future and so that we can share the power of this workshop with our funders. If you enjoy today's workshop, please visit us at pagetheater.org. There you'll find lots of event information for the rest of our virtual residency with the Leela Dance Collective, Dormisha, and Michelle Dorrance. Our activities run through May 1st, and if you missed any of our previous activities, we have recordings available online as well. Now before I turn it over to Rina Mehta and Satya Prakash Mishra, our two wonderful artists who will be leading you through today's workshop, I'm going to show you a brief clip of their show, Speak, so you can see the magic that they create on stage. After the video, we'll be joined by Rina Mehta. Namaskar. Namaskar or namaste means the best part of me, my highest self, meets the best part of you. So we'll say that one more time and we'll say namaskar. And my name is Rina Mehta and I am a Kathak dancer. Kathak comes from India and it is one of eight classical dance styles from India. And today we're going to get to do a little Kathak, learn a little bit about the kinds of movements we use in Kathak dance. So the word Kathak comes from Katha. And the word katha means story. And the kathakas are the storytellers. So in kathak dance, the kathak dancer becomes all of the characters of the story and all of the objects in a story, inanimate, animate, male, female. And so today, we're all going to tell a story about nature together. So, okay, find yourself some space. I'm going to make sure that you can see me really well. So make sure you have a little bit of room if you're doing this with your family members. We're going to begin with a forest. So, and in that forest, we have trees and birds and all kinds of things. Okay, so if you're ready, here we go. So we begin. It's a beautiful day in the forest and your hands are going to go up. And one more time, it's a beautiful, bright, sunny day in the forest. And in the forest, we have big trees. So we begin with the tree trunk, 
big and wide and sturdy and the tree rises out of the ground and your arms become the branches of the tree and your hands become the leaves. And it's a little bit of a breezy day. So we sway from right to left, like the branches and the leaves swaying in the gentle breeze. And now in the trees, we have birds. So you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna hook your thumbs together like this, and you're gonna become birds. You're gonna flutter, and again, we flutter and we fly, and the birds take big flight across. And in the sky, we also have big birds. The big birds have big wings. Yeah, so now, our arms become the wings and they sway and other way. Yeah, like the eagles and the hawks. And if you want, you can walk forward while you are swaying your hands like this. Yeah, very good. And in the forest, we also have beautiful flowers. So they become from buds, they blossom, into flowers and we have butterflies so you put your two fingers together and you shake your wrist to make your butterfly and the butterflies come yeah and then they sip the nectar of the flowers and then the butterfly's friend comes and they fly away now we also have a gorgeous crystal clear stream in the forest so you use your wrists to tell the story of the stream. You can also go from right to left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what do we have in the stream? In the river, we have fish. So you can put your hands, one hand on top of another, and use your thumbs to make the fins. And if you want to make your fish flying fish, you can have them jump and down and jump and down. Now, by the banks of the river, you have a deer. And here's how you make your deer hands. Two fingers together and the deer ears. Now the deer is thirsty. And so the deer takes a sip of the water. You can also use two hands. And, yeah. and one more sip, you have to bend really low from your knees and back up now. The deer hears a sound, so the deer hops and looks and hops and looks and hops. And we're gonna go hop, hop, hop. And the sound that the deer is hearing is a hunter in the bushes. So the hunter stands tall, two feet apart, takes out his bow and arrow, long bow yeah takes the string strings his bow and takes his arrow out and takes aim and gets ready gets ready and fires but the deer is very fast so the deer hops 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 and hops away and that's our nature story. Thank you very much for dancing with us. I think I'm now going to bring our tabla artist, Mr. Satya Prakash Mishra, onto the stage to do some fun rhythm exercises with you all. Mr. Satya Prakash Mishra. Hello, Namaskar. Thank you, Rina Ji. And I would like to thank Peach Theater for inviting us and doing this workshop. Sorry, we couldn't be there, guys, but uh, hopefully soon you will see us live. But this is a great opportunity. We are sharing our rhythm and kathak uh, and uh, rhythm and stuff with everyone, all the people in the houses. So the way I saw Rina Ji doing, kids and the family members in the house, why not have some tabla fun or some rhythm fun? You know, so. The people who are watching this, the kids, the, the parents, the elderly people can do these exercises with me. 
Uh, first, I would like to introduce my instrument, which is old Indian drum, which is an ancient one, which came like thousands of years back. And this is known as tabla. Uh, the left side, you see the bigger one, is known as baya. It gives you lows and bays, like how you shout, rah, 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 like this kids for you, man. It goes like this. Can you hear it? Yay, yay. This is the baya and this is the chanti. This is like a sweet girl talking. So both of them, this is known as chanti, both of them complement each other. Now I will do the tabla uh, is a very common instrument. It can be used in katha, which Miss Rina Mehta was doing just now. It can be played as, played as solo. It can be played with jazz, uh, which we were supposed to do in speak and tap and uh, sitar, which is uh, another string instrument, Indian string instrument, anything you can jam with. But tabla is a very common instrument and very soothing. So how rhythm gets into kathak or any other uh, dance form or, or music form, how it goes. So kids, why not join me? You please join me and even parents can do that, please. So. I will start with a very simple eight beats I'm going to do. You can clap with me. It's a very simple thing. You have to do one and two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight. Once more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When you are at peace, when you want to just relax your heart beats, in this rhythm when you want to play it goes one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight you know when you're angry it's one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven everything is in rhythm the whole nature is in rhythm so i'm going to do some rhythm part with you people and just follow me with it one two three four five six Seven, eight. Now I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I doubled what I did earlier. I did one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Now I'll go double one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I went two times eight. Now I'll go four times eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. So our house, everyone has a house. You go for job, people go for school, the kids, you go for school. Uh, the men in the house, they go for their jobs, or, or the females, the women also. But at last they come to their houses the same way the dancers, the musicians, the percussionists, the rhythm players have a house which is known as sum, which is the first beat of tau, of any tau. There are a lot of taus. So the way, uh, again, I will just show you the whole thing, the whole exercise, one, then double, uh, double eight, then four times eight. So let's do that. Let's do that once again. One, two, three. Four and five, six, seven, eight. We count 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One. Now, please do this exercise and please. Keep doing this exercise. This is a really good exercise for rhythm. Now I'll show you some how, how Kathak and Tabla relates. So the, the way Rina Mata showed deer, how do we show deer? So if, if a deer hops, I show I show it, I'll show it again. So we say it tan. The bowl is tan. So we we take it on our chati and we say tan. 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 So can you please say with me? These are the bowls. These are the syllables of tabla. 
and uh, like you have words, you have sentences, the same way Tabha has word, and these are known as bowls, and in English we say it's syllables. So the way Rina G did, she did hopping and hopping and hopping. The way I will, the same way I will do. You can have recitation exercise too. Turn, 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 turn. Now we'll go double of hopping. Okay, so now I will show you a beat. I will show you a tal, which is eight beats, and music is full of concentration, mind game it's a mind game kids and uh, the people who are parents and elderly can also use this for concentration and meditation so i will show you eight beats and i will clap on my hand and i'll do the parhant parhant is reciting what i'm saying for an example i said taran taran i said the both it is known as parhant again i will repeat parhant which is recitation so the first tal which we start as basic learners is known as bhajni theka. So we have some spiritual songs in India on God, on goddesses. Those are known as bhajan. So I will show you one bhajan theka, which is of eight beats. So I will just recite it. Dha, 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 dha. I'm gonna play it once for you. Now people will say where concentration comes in here. So this is a rhythm. You're going in rhythm. Now, as I said, it's in eight beats. I'll keep my eight beats here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It will pop up, as I said. Now the concentration for elderly people. Kids can use it too, but for elderly people, how it goes, you have to keep basic rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, because it's the how, as I said, it says some. Now how concentration works in, I will say one, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four. People will say he said eight beats, but he's doing one, one, two, three, four, and one, one, two, three, four. How come it is eight? But that's the game. That's the concentration kids and the people and the parents. So how it goes? I'm gonna pop it up. Ta 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 Ta, 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 ta. So kids, tell your parents to make you do this exercise every day. Try and do it. it it's fun. Now I get over to Rina Mehta. Please, if she can show some bandishes or some some compositions. Sorry, I took you a lot of time. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back. So we're going to learn a little bit about how we also in Kathak play with rhythm. So as I mentioned, Kathak is a storytelling dance form, but Kathak also is a percussive dance form, meaning that we use our feet to make rhythms, just like you saw Mr. Satya Prakash Mishra using his hand and his instrument, the tabla, 
to make all kinds of rhythms, we use our feet. So we're gonna do the same, one of the exercises that he did, but now we're gonna do it with our feet, okay? So I'm gonna see if you can uh, get a glimpse of my feet, here we go. So Mr. Satya Prakash Mishra was doing different speeds of eight. So here we go, we're gonna do the same thing instead of with our hands clapping, we're gonna do it with our feet. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, double speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. We're gonna go a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 So as you can see, we make rhythm with our feet. Now, we're also going to show you very briefly how you can use rhythm and footwork to tell stories, okay? So instead of using our face and our hands, right, to make different app objects, we're gonna use our feet to make sounds of the rain, okay? So here we go, try it with me at home, all right? So those of you that have been in rain, know that sometimes rain begins with little droplets, little droplets making a pitter-patter. So in order to do the pitter-patter of the rain, you're gonna just lift your toes, you're gonna keep your heels glued to the ground, my heels are not going anywhere, and my feet go. The pitter-patter of the rain. And, and the rain is pittering and it's slowly start to speed up a little bit. The rain is getting a little more intense. And now we hear the deep rumbling of the thunder in the clouds. So for the thunder, the rumbling of the thunder, you're gonna use your heels. You're gonna keep your feet glued to the ground and lift your heels and you're gonna go. And you're gonna get that deep bass sound that you saw and heard Mr. Satya Prakash Mishra do with his one of his drums, his bayam. Now, the rumbling gets a little faster. And now, we're gonna be in the full on rain, full on thunderstorm. So for that, we're gonna use the full foot. And here we go, here comes the torrent of rain. The rainstorm is over and you're hearing the small, 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 small sounds of water everywhere. So we shuffle our feet to make the sounds of our feet frictioning against the floor. And finally, the thunderstorm is over. And that's our story of the rain. So I'm gonna ask Mr. Satya Prakash Mishra to come back and join us because now I wanna show you, we wanna show you how Satpak and Thabla communicate, how we talk to one another. So if we had been with you at, in, a, in a space, you would have seen that we speak a very similar language. Even though the language of Thakthak and the language of Thabla is not exactly the same, we understand each other's language. So 
I'm gonna do a very short composition and I'm gonna first recite it in numbers and then I'm gonna recite it in the bowls and you'll get to see how I interpret the rhythm and the composition. And then I'm gonna hand it over to Mr. Satya Prakash Mishra who's gonna show you how the exact composition is done on the tabla. So here we go, here's my composition. I'm gonna recite it for you first. The composition goes, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, and two, and three, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, that's our composition. So I'm gonna say it now using the syllables or the bowls of katadat. It's gonna go ta te ta ta te a te. So I'm gonna now dance it. And if you want, you can try it with me at home. All right, so here we go. So this composition, I'll recite it and I'll dance it. And I'm gonna set my tempo. One, two, three, here we go. And one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, and two, and three. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we'll do it one more time with the bowl so you have a chance to do it and try it one last time here we go one two three four we go ah pay that that pay ah pay that that pay pay that pay that pay 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 that that pay that pay that pay 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 that 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 pay that that pay that that pay now Satya Prakash Mishra is going to show you what that sounds like on his instrument. Thank you. Thank you. And come back once again. Thank you, Rina Ji. Wow, very nice composition. So, kids, you know what? The way you fight with your friends and the way you love your friends, the same way sometimes we colleagues, like Rina Ji, when she dances and when she's in a bad mood, she really gives me a hard time. And we sometimes fight. And but sometimes she's very nice. Like, you know, have you tasted like, like a cheese or butter, how it smells? So I'll show you two versions of playing this composition. So the first version, butter one. Okay, the butter game. Okay, I'm going to do that. That's the one when we're not fighting. That's the one That's when the one we're fighting. not fighting. And when you people are not fighting. <laughs> so here we go. One and two and three. And here we go. Ah, so you have to think of butter and cheese, then you can play the same thing like this. It's so cute, you know, when you when you talk with your friends lovingly. Now when you fight, the same composition I'm gonna play in the fighting mode. So we have all the moves in, in music, in rhythm, in dance, and we can show characters in, in, in dance to facial expression. The same way we can show it on tabla, which I'm gonna show it to you now. One and two and three and go. Oh ah, ah, ah. So these are the two versions of uh, playing style two. So you can try it and you can do it with numbers too. Okay. Now I would like Rina Mataji. So the way she threw something on me, she threw a composition on me, which I didn't know. And I just did it. I heard it and I played the same way. She doesn't know what I'm going to throw on her. So I'm going to do a simple tihai. So a tihai is a concept 
which is repeated th thrice. What she did was a small composition. In, in Tabla, we say tukra. And in Kathak also, they say thoda or tatkar ki bandish. Small piece. Tukra in Hindi. In India, we say small piece. Can I have a small piece of berry milk? or a chocolate, or a horse chocolate. The same way she did a small piece, which was tukra, or a tatkar ki bandish, as she said. You can also say a composition. Now I'm going to recite tihai. What is tihai? Any guesses? Are you going to Google it? No, don't Google it. I'm going to answer it. So tihai is something which is repeated thrice. A group of bowls repeated thrice. So group of bowls. How do you how do you say group of bowls? I don't know any bowl. Even if you say if you talk, I like you, I like you, I like you. Or you can say I like pitch theater, I like pitch theater, I like pitch theater. That becomes a tihai. You know? So the same way I'm gonna repeat something thrice, which Rina Ji is now gonna do from her feet. And it's really interesting and it's, she's going to match me. So the tihai, she doesn't know. Please listen to it. I'm sorry. I'm going to throw this on you. So this is the tihai in numbers. One and two and three. And we go. Oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Gap, gap, gap. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Gap, gap, gap. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So kids. Have fun with your parents and your grandparents with this, okay? So they're gonna recite for you, your grandparents. What is what is the tihai? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yep, yep, yep. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yep, yep, yep. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So I'm gonna play this from my tabla and just listen to it how it sounds. One. And two and three and we go. Oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, clap, clap, clap. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, clap, clap, clap. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So I would like Rina Mataji to do this if she doesn't mind. Great. So I'm going to show you all my feet. And again, you all can try with me at home. So here we go. Let's see if we can make this work. Um, all right. So here we go. One, two, three. Here we go. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Gap, gap, gap. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Gap. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So, if you want to make it a little fancy, if you want to make it a little fancy, you can add a turn. So we'll try it one last time with a little turn. Here we go. One, two, three, four. We go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One two three four one two three four one two three four one two three gap 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 one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three and that's Thank our you. For today. Wow, Rina Ji, that's amazing. Can I show you one thing? That how does it how does it where does it fit in? I mean, we just did it, you know. So we need to show them the 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 concentration game. Yeah. So kid. Again, the concentration game, my game, concentration, or Rina Ji's game, it's not my game, it's all the artist's games. So now, the way we did eight beats, Rina Ji, can you just show them how 16 beat works? Then I'll show them on my fingers how the high comes. Sure, so you, I'm gonna dance the the high, and I'm gonna recite the 16. So here we go. Sure. That's I, don't a know, big I don't know if I can do this. I can't do this. Here we go, one, two, Three, four, we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, one. Yay! Wow! Thank you for doing this, Tihai. So, so she did a mind game and a concentration game. You know, it's very tricky. 
doing with her feet. She's doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah. And then she's reciting one and two and three. So now how the tabla players do that? We also do some concentration game. This this is how it goes. 13 and 14 and 15 and 16. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Gap, gap, gap. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Gap, gap, gap. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, fun. Okay, so one is the house for us. That's the sound as I had repeated earlier. And this was, I, I, I counted this in 16 beats, not in 8 beats. So I did just now 16 beats. 5, 5, 5, and 1. Okay, that's 16. Please do this exercise. You'll really enjoy it. Very good. Thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you, Namaskar. And we once again want to thank everybody at the Page Theater for helping make this happen. And we're sorry we couldn't be there live in person, but we hope to see you very soon. Thank you and Namaskar. Namaskar. Take care.